There's tours everywhere. It's totally unorganized. I have no idea where I'm going half the time. The bus just dropped me off and pointed in a direction and said 816. Told me 816. I don't know what that means. But uh, forms of people here, and I got here when it first opened. I saw Westerners for the first time on my trip. Selfie. There it is. The Three Gorges Dam. The biggest dam in the world. Two kilometers long, 60 stories high. It's the biggest concrete structure in the entire world. 16 million cubic meters of concrete in that. It took three years, 24-7 concrete just being poured in there. Just a lineup of cement trucks. There's so much to talk about. I'm going to try to stick to positive things though. Um, there are a bunch of negative things that I could discuss, but but uh, I just want to talk about how how amazing this, this is. Like the fact that they built this is just it's insane. Now it's all about the execution. I am about to go and lose it. Grab the shit and go bruise it. It took 17 years to build this, uh, including planning, constructing, and for it to become fully operational. The cost of it was 22.5 billion dollars. A huge, huge amount of money. But um, it was actually paid off already in 2013. Managed to pay it off. That's only like that's only 19 months after it became fully operational. There are 32 main generators. There are 6,000 tons each. Six of them are actually in. I believe it's that mountain. They put them inside the mountain. Generates 22,500 megawatts of electricity which is by far the most out of any power station in the world. <laughs> yes, yeah, nailed the rack focus. Guy hawking up loogies in the background. Go ahead, spit it out. There you go. So other than producing a butt ton of electricity, the dam also controls flooding. They have a reservoir that holds water in it and can you know, release the water when it's necessary. Um, hold water back when the water levels are high. This is a huge, huge deal. Uh, in a past video, I talked about the 1.24 million people that had to be relocated because of the, the building of the dam. But um, really, that's just a small number compared to the amount of people that have had to move because of flooding. In 1954 alone, there was a huge flood and it killed 33,000 some odd people. I think about 19 million people had to, had to leave their homes. I mean, 1.24 is, is nothing compared to that. Wuhan, which is a city of 8 million people, I think, it was covered in water for three months. The government actually estimates that 300,000 people have died due to the flooding of the Yangtze. Since the dam was complete, shipping has increased 600%. And that's mainly due to the water levels being higher, so they, the ships can go farther inland. Uh, this right here is a ship lock. Um, there's a series of two there, and it has five levels. It takes about four hours for a big boat to get through that, and um, it can hold a ship that's 10,000 tons. So big, big ships can make it through here. Now if your ship is smaller, if it's 3,000 tons or less, then you can take the it's a ship lift. It's, it's kind of like an elevator for boats uh, and that only takes about 20 minutes to an hour to get through. Look at these guys. This guy's going over the wall. That's not allowed. Since it was completed, shipping costs have dropped by 25% and the cities that benefit most from this would be ones upstream like Chongqing. Chongqing is estimated to get five times more shipping now. That's big for that area because, uh, you know, central China is, is away from the capital and it's it's usually ignored and it'll help boost their economy a lot. China's going through a damn boom. They're building them like crazy. Um, obviously there's a lot of controversy with that. Destruction of the environment. You know, if anything ever went wrong and all this water was released, it would take a huge toll on the population. Um, it would damage so much. And actually, some people have said that um, you know, this might affect whether China decides to go to war because they have this thing here that if it's bombed, you know, it could destroy a huge portion of their population. But the way it's built, if part of it's destroyed, then it won't, like, all the water won't be released, just a portion of it will be. This guy's just like, I'm gonna make some noise. I'm gonna, I could just walk, just walk quietly, but I'm gonna walk and clap my hands really loud because I'm a 
and I don't appreciate peace and quiet. Okay. Calm down, Ryan. Calm down. Perhaps the most staggering fact is that this dam only provides electricity for 1.7% of China's population. Such a huge country, such a large amount of people. And as their consumption of electricity grows, and as China closes down coal plants to become a greener country, try to re reduce their smog, uh, they're going to need more electricity, and pretty fast. Um, so they're building dams like crazy. They already have more dams than all the other countries in the world combined. Um, they've made deals with Laos and with Myanmar to build dams on their major rivers. I think in Myanmar it was estimated 90% of electricity generated there will go to China. Perhaps even more important than that is you're going to be controlling one of their biggest sources of fresh water, a far greater resource. Well, I gotta say, this is the best view, the park, the very last stop, and it's quiet. I mean, look at, there's hardly anybody around. I don't know where everybody is, but they're not here. So I am off to Wuhan. I got a three o'clock train I gotta catch. By the way, I'm in a new province. I'm in Hubei, and uh, it's exciting because I've spent most of my time in Sichuan province or the Chongqing municipality, which is all the same kind of food. Hubei should offer some different kinds of food. Wuhan's a big city. Uh, so I think I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time in Wuhan eating. So if you like food, you're gonna to wanna to tune into that video. That's it for the gorge. From here on out, past that point right there, water levels are lower and we're gonna hit cities. A lot of cities coming up, I guess. I should probably not dawdle. Hello.